And it's just five minutes uh, to the historic launch of the Apollo 11 with all going well. Astronauts Armstrong, Collins, and Aldrin sitting there atop the uh, great Saturn rocket in their command module getting ready for launch. Here's Jack King and launch control. Counting. Skip Chauvin informing the astronauts that the swing arm are now coming back. The astronauts will have a few more reports coming up in the countdown. The last business report will be from Neil Armstrong at the 45 second mark in the count when he gives a status on the final alignment of the stabilization and control system. We're now passing the four minute 30 second mark in the countdown, still go at this time. Four minutes, 15 seconds, the test supervisor now has informed launch vehicle test conductor Norm Carlson, you are go, go for launch. From this time down, uh, Carlson uh, handles the countdown as the launch vehicle uh, begins to build up. We're now hitting the four minute mark. Four, minute mar four minutes and counting, we are go for Apollo 11. We'll go on an automatic sequence uh, starting at three minutes and seven seconds. The astronaut, the uh, engines that uh, generate that thrust uh, uh, combined horsepower equal to 543 uh, jet fighter planes. Their launch uh, vehicle there weighs as much as the submarine Nautilus. They burn 5,662,000 pounds of fuel, the equivalent of 98 railroad tank cars of it, the capacity of a small town's water tank. Lift off, the noise reaches 120 decibels and has been compared to 8 million hi fi sets playing at once. Neil Armstrong reported back when he received the good wishes. Thank you very much. We know it will be a good flight. Firing command coming in now. We are on the automatic sequence. We're approaching the three minute mark in the count. T minus three minutes and counting. T minus three. We are go with all elements of the mission at this time. We're on an automatic sequence as the master computer supervises hundreds of events occurring over these last few minutes. T minus two minutes, 45 seconds and counting. The members of the launch team here in the control center monitoring a number of what we call red line values. These are tolerances we don't want to go above and below in temperatures and pressures. They're standing by to call out any deviations from our plans. Two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. We'll still go on Apollo 11 at this time. The vehicle starting to pressurize as far as the propellant tanks are concerned, and all is still go as we monitor our status void. Two minutes, ten seconds, and counting. The target for the Apollo 11 astronauts, the moon at liftoff, will be at a distance of 218,096 miles away. We just passed the two minute mark in the countdown. T minus one minute, 54 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates that the oxidizer tanks in the second and third stages now have pressurized. We continue to build up pressure in all three stages uh, here at the last the minute uh, to prepare it for a liftoff. T minus one minute, 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. All indications uh, coming in uh, to the control center at this time indicate we are go. One minute, 25 seconds in the counting. Our status board indicates the third stage completely pressurized. 80 second mark has now been passed. We'll go on full internal power at the 50 second mark in the countdown. Guidance system goes on internal at 17 seconds, leading up to the ignition sequence at 8.9 seconds. We're approaching the 60 second mark on the Apollo 11 mission. T minus 60 seconds and counting. We pass T minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong just reported back. It's been a real smooth countdown. We pass the 50 second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. You can see the water the second stage is tanks now pressurized. Now. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. Six, 
five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, it looks good, Wally. Somebody must be leaving the arm. Building shaking. We're getting that buffeting we've become used to. What a moment. Man on the way to the moon. trajectory so far, doesn't it, Wally? Very good, very good. That's, that's... Contrast now, just going through. See it beautifully on the everything just go around. on the screen here. We're through the region of maximum dynamic pressure now. Yeah, everything looks good here. Yeah. We're at 1350 on the start bottom. Set eight miles downrange. I'm not sure whether I'm a fan. I'm looking at it on the screen. I'm looking at it up the window. That's for the, uh, that's for dropping the first stage, going to the second stage power. Inboard cutoff. Inboard engines out. Come inboard cutoff. You're hearing from the capsule communicator, astronaut Ken Mattingly at uh, Mission Control in Houston talking to the uh, astronaut. Down range 35 miles, 30 miles high. Standing by for the outboard engine cut down now. And this is reporting, uh, this is Jack Riley reporting, the voice of Mission Control. There we go. Station. <coughs> and ignition. Each of these events are very yes, we'll interesting to us. Levin Houston, thrusters go. All engines, you're looking good. Hi, Roger. You're loud and clear, Houston. At three minutes, downrange 70 miles. 43 miles high velocity, 1,300 feet per second. We got the current step. Roger, we confirm the current step. Should have had the launch escape citizen, Jackson. Neil Armstrong confirming both the engine skirt separation and the launch escape tower separation. There we go. Houston, be advised the visual is go today. <laughs> This is Houston, Roger. What was that? The visual simulation is going. Yeah, <laughs> you won't. He can't hear you. What the Houston, uh, your guidance has converged. You're looking good. The boost protective cover comes off, and the windows Down are running clear. Look for miles. Oh. Altitude 62 miles. Velocity 10,300 feet per second. Eleven Houston, you are go at four minutes. Gotcha. The second stage of these five J two engines. Right on the ground track. Develop a million one hundred and twenty five thousand pounds of thrust. That's an amazing camera that uh, space agency has there. We can still see that spacecraft and at this point uh, it is almost ninety three miles high and two hundred and eight miles down. Range. 72 miles high, velocity 11,000 feet per second. Almost 8,000 miles an hour. It's got to get up to 17,500 to go into Earth orbit. Yeah, 